put down grid and I shall save the preset change the, uh, the center bevel it output group now we're gonna subdivide so let's subdivide two times and now we want to expand the group so take a look at this group and expand like three times change the group something memorable like circles now great now I want to circles make a circle from the selection and choose circle group like that and delete and now we want to delete the group also circles so this is gonna be our detail that we can always change in the poly, poly bevel we can change a little bit amount almost to the edges but if we want smaller holes we can also change the subdivision or oh, actually the group expand like that and like with the two you can change the bevel to the medium size holes but we can take a look at that a little bit later so now we want to copy it this is gonna be our base shape let's make a null this is gonna be our output and press C and make it like red so we can easily see it like that so now we're gonna have to start the copying process so let's make it like a base shape so we know what it is so let's start with copying and again do it a little bit different drop down duplicate and we are going to duplicate on two make it like four five and now we want to from the base shape node we're going to make translate node make a uh, what's called even template so we can see where it's happening and let's move it here and here so that's going to be 0 0.5 and 1 like that we are going to copy it to the same way so now we have a interchangeable patterns that cross each other and we can also make a merge one trick is that you can select both of these and hold alt alt and it's gonna automatically put down merge node like that and now just to see the effect we can easily put down duplicate also to the one make like many copies and we have our base pattern right here and to see the effects of the setup that we made earlier we can easily change the size of the circles if we want smaller circles we can shrink the expand so basically these two values are gonna affect how big or small we can make these holes right now let's make a two average size holes <clears throat> so now so now we are almost done we have to just bend it but before we do that let's make it let's make a transform here and put our object inside the past the zero so it's in a positive we have to just 0.5 so now our object is only in a positive side of the vault space. We want to copy it and bend it. Select bend and press P and then M to change the capture direction and bend it in like that. But the problem is that we need actually more than 360 because of the our unique shape, how it connects. 
and there is a simple math for that but before we do that let's put it back to zero and deal with the capture area we have to make it dynamic because right now when we make when we change the amount of copies the capture area does not update so it's not gonna bend correctly that's an easy fix we have to just copy this value total number go to bend and capture length paste it in there and have to add 0.5 because of the, this little bit more so right now as we change it you can see the capture length is right and we can bend it change the amount and it's gonna update correctly but now we have to just deal with the amount of bend we have to apply for every for for this for this to be right and actually it's pretty easy we need to know amount again how many copies we made let's copy this again go back to bend let's put this to zero paste it in there right now it's 10 but before so we want the base 360 degrees plus let's put this in parentheses we want three to and then we want 360 divide by this number that we just pasted which is 10 and then we have to divide it by 2 again because we have want only the half of the one circle and this is basically correct and now we can update and it's gonna work perfectly now let's put this reverse now let's just do some last cleanup of the object we can make an extrude node make some volume for this object also put back and but before that actually I forgot we have to fuse fuse the vertices so that's one object and now like this now we want to make update the amount of the length of the object we can create so let's go back near the middle and these two copy nodes are responsible for the length of the tube right now it's not procedural it's only copies one of them as you can see so let's copy parameter of the one of them and paste it inside the other one so that they both update when I change one as you can see now they both update now let's just take a look what key we can change for the object so and what kind of holes you can make I will be posting about making it into the Houdini digital asset but for now let's just play around with nodes select poly bevel as you can see we can change the bevel amount actually I posted this subdiv let's turn it off for now come back to it later as you can see we can change the size for that and group expand at some point it's gonna delete everything so be careful about it but as you can see with group expand we can shrink it and make it bigger and if you want to fine-tune it we can go back to bevel and fine-tune the shape of it with the subdivs just make it two or one one is kinda one of course also can be used but just keep it at two and if you want to make holes big make it like that as you can see there's an artifact thing and you just want to apply subdivision at the end of it so like that if you make big holes so now you can see it's extremely smooth surface and of course because we made it procedural we can make it I know like 10 you can make it bigger and also 
number of copies. Let's make it only like, I don't know, five. Twice as small. As you can see, the topology still holds up. And with this topology, we can bend it with poly path deform or anything we want. 